Holland UK Timer GRC Member of Parliament Christopher de Souza was cleared of improper professional conduct as a lawyer on Monday, July 31. The 47 year old, who is also the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, had been found guilty by a disciplinary tribunal in 2022 of helping a client suppress evidence from the court. The Straits Times reported that on Monday, in front of the Court of Three Judges, the highest disciplinary body for the legal profession in Singapore, the Law Society had argued for the Souza to be suspended for four years. The Souza's lawyer, on the other hand, urged the court to acquit him of the charge, arguing that the Law Society had persistently advanced a doggedly misconceived case. The court comprising Justices Belinda Ong, Wu B.I.H. Lee and Kenan Ramesh, said that the Law Society did not prove beyond reasonable doubt that De Souza had intended to help his clients suppress evidence. The court added that it was clear to them that De Souza did not intend to suppress the breach. De Souza's case related to his conduct while he was acting as a partner at law firm Lee Lee for Ember Compounding Pharmacy and Ember Laboratories in a high court suit. Ember had obtained several documents through a search order in 2018. It used some of these documents to make reports to investigative agencies and this breach is undertaking not to use them without further order. An internal email showed De Souza was aware of Amber's breaches even before his firm Lee Lee took over the suit. Despite knowing this, he helped Amber representative Samuel Sudesh Tadias file an affidavit on January 28, 2019 that did not reveal the breaches. The Law Society had raised five charges against De Souza, but a disciplinary tribunal found him guilty of only one charge. On Monday, the court of three judges grilled both De Souza's lead counsel, senior counsel Tan Chi Meng, as well as Madan Asimal, who was representing the Law Society. CNA reported that the court questioned Asimal on the framing of the charge, as well as on what Law Society's precise case was as to De Souza's intention to suppress evidence. As for Tan, the court asked him about how the affidavit was drafted. Tan's case was that the affidavit did disclose the wrongdoing and that it simply could have been drafted in a clearer manner. However, he argued that the lack of clarity did not mean an intention to assist Amber to suppress evidence.